Hi, I'm Brian LePay for the Ocean County Health Department with a very special Animal Facilities edition of our Health Headline segment. Now today, Jackie Strauder, she's back, and she brought with her a kitten caboodle full of fur balls. Jackie, welcome back to the Thank show. Thank you for having me back, Brian. Jackie, listen, it's early kitten season, it looks yes. like, uh, with the little uh, basket full of kittens we have here. But before we get to kitten season, we still have to deal with old man winter and yes. a few more weeks of uh, bad weather and cold weather. Mm -hmm. Tell us how to uh, basically winterize your pet, if you will. Sure. Uh, one of the best things to keep in mind with the winter weather is that if it's too cold for you outside, it's also going to be much too cold for your pets as well. You want to limit their time spent outdoors and also keep in mind too that with the snow and ice melt products that are used, they can be very irritating and can be toxic to your pets as well if they ingest them. So it's always a good idea when you come back in from walks to thoroughly wipe down your dog's feet. Um, and their legs and their undersides as well. And also check their paw pads for any cracking or irritation that can be caused as well. And as Old Man Winter heads out, we yes. bring in uh, the fleas. Tell us about the those little critters and what we can do to prevent our cats and dogs against fleas. Yes, uh, the best way to actually protect your pets is actually to prevent them from becoming infested in the first place. Um, they make a variety of different products that when you apply monthly can prevent your pets and your home from getting infested with fleas. Um, you can find them at your veterinarian. Your veterinarian can pick out which one is best for you and your, your pets. Um, and also, if you do have fleas on your pets, it's also important to treat your home as well, not just your pets, to eliminate the infestation. All right, well, those are some great tips, Jackie. Listen, I anticipate another bumper crop of these little yes. guys this year. <laughs> Where can we go to get a, ourselves a kitten, a cat, or a dog? Uh, both of our facilities are one in Jackson and our one in Manahawk and we'll have plenty of kittens just like these up for adoption pretty soon. We are open to the public seven days a week between the hours of one and four. These guys are absolutely adorable. Thanks for being Thank with you. us, Jackie. All right, now to find out more about our adoption services or any of the OCHD services and programs, please check out our website at OCHD.org or look for us on our new Ocean County Health Department YouTube channel. That's going to do it for now for Jackie. I'm Brian LePay. We'll see you next time. <laughs>